welcome back to another video guys today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own overpowered classes any single gun you guys want in the game No matter what it is the p90 sure the Uzi sure the m4a1. Yeah, whatever you guys can make any Single gun you want overpowered if you're using the right attachments and a lot of people when they make their class They put on some random stuff that just doesn't go together and it actually makes the gun worse than the base weapon of the actual gun like dude if you're gonna make a class you got to make it right so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in this video how to put the right attachments together and we're gonna talk about 10 different attachments that are 100% needed on most classes within this game What is up guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Today we're gonna be talking about 10 classes you absolutely or 10 attachments you absolutely have to use on your class in Modern Warfare. Now I know you only get the option to put five, but I'm gonna give you guys the option for like two muzzles, for example, two under barrels, stuff like that. And I'm gonna talk about the best ones and the only ones you should be using. Everything else should be forgotten about unless you play like a play style that I've never heard about in my life. Maybe you like rush under lying down, maybe like crawl around the whole map. I don't know, but we're gonna be talking about rushing, we're gonna be talking about those guys who play it slow, and all that kind of stuff, and attachments for every single playstyle. Now, these attachments are 100% the most overpowered attachments in the game. These are the ones you need to use on most weapons, and these are the ones that I always make sure to put on if I have the option to use them. So guys, before we get into this video, if you could drop a huge fat like, we're gonna go for exactly 1,000 likes on this video. And if you guys could subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on, we're roughly 5,000 subscribers away from half a million. That is insane. And I wanna thank every single one of you. Now guys, quickly before we get into this video, if you could let me know down in the comments below the one attachment you have to use all the time. The most important attachment in your eyes. Go ahead, comment that down below. Mine is probably gonna be the Commando 4 grip I really love it or the rear grip stippled grip tape those ones are my go-to's but yeah guys let's get into the video the first attachment I want to talk about is one attachment that I don't use too often but I use it on certain weapons and the reason I don't use it too often is because this only works for certain weapons you can't use it on on good guns that barely have any recoil but that is the muzzle the compensator that's what it's called it's literally just called the compensator and this one what it gives you is recoil control but it does take away ADS speed and aiming stability so that might seem a little bad it takes away two things and it only gives you one positive but that recoil control is super important this keeps your gun from moving upwards so if you're using a weapon like the scar for example this is a very super important attachment because that has a lot of kick if you're using something like the AK-47 and you could use the compensator on it go ahead and throw it on because that has a lot of upwards kick so that is super important just to keep your gun from kicking in the upwards direction it'll keep it very steady so if you shoot at the chest you hit the chest and all that kind of stuff another muzzle and the last one I'm gonna tell you guys is probably the muzzle break this is a very important one as well and this gives you recoil stabilization again it takes away aiming stability and ADS speed and this keeps your gun from kicking side to side so if you look at the Uzi for example the Uzi kicks upwards but it also kicks sideways so this could be a very good attachment to use on that weapon but the Uzi is it's not really the greatest example to give you guys because that doesn't really need any sort of muzzle or anything like that it's a great gun in general and I feel like a lot of people should definitely start using that but now I want to talk about the more important attachments I wanted to get the muzzles out of the way because those to me aren't as important as the rest of the ones that I want to talk about and that is for example the barrels any barrel that gives you ADS speed movement speed or anything like that I really highly recommend now it could have different names on different weapons so I'm not gonna sit here and name every single one for you guys because if I just sit here and name everyone that's probably gonna take like 20 minutes but I'm gonna give you guys an example from the m4a1 and that is the FSS 11.5 inch commando and this one gives you ADS speed and it also gives you movement speed which is really good on a weapon like the m4a1 where the ADS is super important because it's an assault rifle it's takes a little while to aim down sights so anything that could up that is better but also the movement speed because of the fact that it is an assault rifle you don't move as fast so it's definitely important to run something like this for that weapon as a great example and another barrel that I want to give you guys is anyone that gives you damage range and bullet velocity and some of them even give you recoil control with that which is super important so damage range and bullet velocity very important 
to have on your weapon i would highly recommend any attachment that gives you that to go ahead and throw it on and like again i'll give you guys another example with the m4a1 you could use the corvus custom marksman and that is the one that is on the m4a1 but there's other guns who have the same attachments just named differently and it gives you damage range and bullet velocity which is really damn good so you know the further the person is the less damage you do when you hit him or the less your bullet actually goes and hits him at a fast speed and, and, and anything like that so if you're aiming at his head and might only shoot his chest if he's really far and by the time it gets to him so this gives you that bullet velocity so when you aim at the head you actually hit the head and it gives you that extra damage so like let's say for example you shoot someone at far range with this attachment you could get 40 damage on the head and then if you don't use this attachment you might only get like 32 damage and then you'll probably hit the chest giving it only like 25 damage so this is super super important to use on weapons that you actually have the chance to use it now let's talk about the laser because this is another super important attachment but every single laser except for the one mw laser i believe actually makes your laser visible when you aim down sights or when you're running around the map and stuff like that so that is the one thing you got to be weary of when actually throwing on a laser but i still think that the advantages of using a laser on your weapon beat just showing your laser so i, I feel like it's a very good trade-off in my opinion and the first one that i would highly recommend over any other laser is probably going to be the 5mw laser this gives you uh, hip fire accuracy which is super important so that when you actually do start shooting at enemies you could shoot before you even aim down sights if you have a gun that aim down sights very slow you'll probably connect one or two bullets and by the time you aim down sights you only have to hit them with one or two more so this is super good to use and it also gives you that insane sprint to fire speed which is super important as well that means that when you're sprinting you could stop sprinting and start shooting right away rather than stop sprinting catching your breath for half a second and then lifting up your gun to shoot so this one is really important to use and like i said it's only the, the laser is only visible that's the only thing bad with it and this is perfect for rushing if you guys like playing with smgs this is the laser i would highly recommend but if you guys like playing with ars better then maybe the tack laser is for you and what the tack laser does is it gives you ads speed it gives you aiming stability and it gives you aim walking steadiness so that is three positives right there that are very good for assault rifle so that aim walking steadiness so that when you're actually walking and aiming down sights your gun isn't just swinging up and down left and right and all that stuff it's pretty steady so you'll stay on target it also gives you that ads speed and that aiming stability so that ads speed like i said as usual man for assault rifles i highly recommend it and this is great if you like to kind of rush but play back at the same time so you guys should definitely be throwing on an attachment like that now the last few attachments we got four more here two of them are under barrels one of them is a rear grip and the other one is a stock and the reason the rear grip and the stock i only want to talk about one attachment is because those are the only ones i would highly recommend on those attachment slots but let's go into the actual underbarrel first so for the underbarrel there is one that i highly recommend over any other underbarrel and that is commando foregrip it explains itself it gives you guys recoil stabilization and aiming stability and only takes away some movement speed that right there is a great positive the next one is the merc foregrip this gives you recoil control and hip fire accuracy taking away only aim walking movement speed and some ads so that one i wouldn't recommend as much as the commando foregrip but the commando foregrip 100 go ahead and use that now the most important one as well this one and probably the underbarrel commando foregrip but the rear grip is super important as well and that is the stippled grip tape this gives you sprint to fire speed and ads speed the two most important attachment options in your actual class is that ads speed and that sprint to fire speed and on this one you get them both together and it only takes away some aiming stability i explained the sprint to fire speed to you guys super good to have and ads speed especially if using assault rifles super good to have as well so go ahead and make sure to run that and the last one is going to be the stock now if you have assault rifles i highly recommend 100 percent running the no stock attachment this gives you guys movement speed and ads speed now it does take away some aiming stability and recoil control but guys trust me this is good for heavy guns like lmgs assault rifles all that kind of stuff this is super important to use on it man and i would highly recommend always running that on your class rather than any other stock 
so that is it right there guys that is going to be the 10 attachments i highly recommend you use within modern warfare if you want to do better and all that kind of good stuff like i said if we could go for a thousand likes on this video that would be absolutely amazing and let me know your favorite ever attachment the one that you always have to use no matter what down in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and turn on those notifications guys we're so close to 500,000. so thank every single one of you my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one. Peace.